Here we have the latest guns from Nerf for Star Wars The Force Awakens movie tie-in. On the left we have the First Order Stormtrooper Blaster and on the right the First Order Stormtrooper Deluxe Blaster. What you'll notice is that all of these guns being standard Nerf use elite foam darts and of course the First Order use red whereas the Rebel Scum use blue. We'll get to look at those as well late in the video when I start shooting BB-8. Yes, of course, BB-8, you're going to be target practice, rebel scum. There's no point trying to hide behind the props, you need to get out of here. Go charge your battery and run. Let's start with the Stormtrooper Blaster. This is a really nice, neat pistol. I've obviously got large adult hands and my finger fits in the trigger absolutely fine. This is primed by pulling back this grey part here. It's quite nicely sprung both ways, so not only when you pull it out do you get a force, but it wants to return back in, so it gets out of the way quite neatly. And here's the business end. Now I'm going to just show you, for those that aren't familiar with Nerf, it's completely safe. So even if I put, put my finger in the barrel and press that trigger, all you get is this muted duff kind of uh, thud sound. That's because the actual mechanism that does all the push on the darts is all inside and protected. So you slide the dart in, you can do that either before or after you've primed the actual pistol, or blaster as it is in this term, but let's call it a blaster pistol. So let's just shoot two regularly, and this time I'm gonna load it prior to actually priming. But as you can see, it's really two-handed operation, but really simple. You can't do this with one-handed but it's a really fantastic to hold blaster. A little bit short pistol, but I'm not really complaining about that. So yes, my, uh, my lost bottom two fingers have got nothing to hold on to, but there's really plenty of grip here for my hand. I'm really quite happy with that. One last thing, the sights are removable, so you can just slide that forward. They're also interchangeable, so I'm gonna just quickly pop on the larger sights from the Deluxe Blaster, now see it's a little bit crazy to have the large sight on here, but you can actually see down the sight there, there's actually a trigger where the sight that comes with the blaster, although it's quite fun, doesn't actually offer a great sight to line up, but it's, you know, it's absolutely functional for a blaster pistol, fantastic. I'm also gonna try this outside, a little bit of light breeze today, but let's just see how I do with the blaster outside for a range test. I find the blaster amazing. Really am getting 18, 20 meters easy. Okay, that last one was erratic, but that gives you a good idea. Here's the Stormtrooper Deluxe Blaster. You do get instructions that help you show you how to set it up, etc., and how to use a Nerf blaster, but if you're familiar, then it's gonna be very easy. This part actually I've already attached. It doesn't come off, so once you've got it attached, you can only get it the right way around it's on there for good, which is fine. It's the magazine holder that goes on the very side of the rifle. As you can see, you have a bunch of darts, only five that are actually printed with the Star Wars logo and the other seven don't have that. Let's just a little bit of focus onto the magazine. So it's a 12 dart magazine. So all of those will fit into this, which is quite nice. You've got a nice simple marker here that shows you which way the dart goes in. So you wanna make sure you put the tip forward and my way of doing it is, and I'm sure it's the best, is to push down on the actual rubber tip dart because it makes the whole foam process a little bit easier. And it's a little bit easier than pressing on the back because as you can see, the, uh, the top comes up a little bit more easily than the back does. So once you've got yourself up to 12 darts in there, don't overload it, don't be tempted to overload it. You're only gonna have the spring push too hard and then this is more likely to then jam into the mechanism. But once you've got this loaded, you want to prime by pulling back this part here. Now I've actually done a full prime and load, so I'm gonna just expel that air. I'm gonna leave it in the primed position so I can now load the cartridge just by slotting it in. There's a click release button here, so that's now well and truly firmly in place. And now, of course, like all Nerf guns, you've now got the dart in the chamber position. 
you then draw it further forward into the firing position and I'm going to just pop my hand in front of it and then you can actually then fire your dart. This gun, very much like um, the Rampage Elite, has a slam fire, which means if I held the trigger button down and I were to then load and bring forward, you'll see it's already firing and I can then do that until the cartridge is empty. One more feature on the other side, if you do get a jam, there's a jam door. What does a jam door look like? So the idea of this, it don't, it doesn't open unless you've actually got this at this position here. And the idea is that if you have a dart that's stuck in here in some way, and you can actually see the white of the cartridge, you can of course remove the cartridge. Again, if you've got a real problem, you might want to have access to both sides and the jam door lets you do that. So obviously I can put my finger right through there and you can see right through to the side because there's nothing jammed in there but if there were that gives you really good access to then clear the jam you can then of course bring forward and fire the jam doors now shut again safely keeping all fingers out of the way of any of the working mechanism one last thing i like to really point out this has got a kind of status indicator on the side here so as you draw this back this goes red and stays red whilst loaded and primed to fire when you fire, it then goes black. So you kind of, kind of kind of got an indication whether your opponent has got a primed loaded weapon or not. Now, you can't tell whether there's a dart in there or not, so they could be bluffing, but I think that's a really nice little visual indicator. The stock is actually removable. We just slide that down, there's a little orange catch there. But when it's removed, you've actually got this rather plain pointy piece at the back, so although it makes it shorter, doesn't make it any more easier to hold, so I recommend keeping the stock on. Although I'm sure, although I haven't got any other stocks, you could need to change it and replace it with other stocks. Let's just pop the cartridge back in place. And then we can move on to the final part, the sight. So the top here has got the normal kind of rail load system where you can draw from the front, in this case, the sight that comes with the gun and it goes back until it clicks and you can again slide off the front. So you've got this slightly rigid system and then it goes over this orange rocker. There's a clip on the back that locks in and that lug, you can hear it click, keeps it in place. Fully interchangeable with other items. I've only got the standard Swarm Dribble Blaster, so I'm gonna put that on now. I'll put that on actually on backwards, but it looks nicer backwards. So let me show you what I mean by backwards. So it's locked in place a little bit firmer. It's not a brilliant sight, the small one that comes with the original Stormtrooper Blaster, but I think the sight, this large bolt, is good. And you can actually look down there and you've got a nice little hairline trigger. Let's just have that at the very, very top of the screen, just in shot. And that's really nice. Again, my hand being a large adult hand, really comfortable. This handle is bigger than the pistol. And I find this motion works really well. So I'm actually finding this brilliant, very comfortable, and I'm having quite a bit of fun just showing it and demoing it. What I'm now going to do is going to go outside and I'm going to actually see what it's like. There's been a bit of wind today. I love the styling. This is really comfortable. You don't really get to hold this part because you're so busy holding the under slung pump action area. But it's very, very comfortable, easy to hold. I don't find that the stock gets in the way of anything. I end up resting this on my hip, so if I'm shooting from the hip, then uh, it works really well for me. Let's see what it's like outside, gentle breeze. This claims to have 20 meters, which is 65 feet. Let's see how that does. One of the features that I use quite a lot is in the drive app, the figure of eight and the square movement, because in the middle of the room, he really then is a great moving target for any Nerf gun that you happen to have that you want to shoot at him. Now, a Nerf dart will not hurt your BB-8, honestly, but if you're really lucky and you happen to have, let's say, the Deluxe Blaster, you can absolutely shoot his head off Now this is rather cruel than point blank range, but absolutely, that's got to be worth 10 points, hasn't it? BB-8 has unfortunately found himself at the end of a long corridor, and at the other end, 
there's me with a deluxe blaster laying down rapid fire. Now I'm shooting, excuse the wobbles, from about eight meters away. Yes, BB-8, still shooting you. I find the deluxe blaster really accurate in sub 10 meter locations. But I actually find the blaster the best for range. Now, almost got him. It's a one last try before the cheeky BB-8 gets away with it. What do you reckon, BB-8? Do you reckon he'll dodge this bullet? Where are you going? Come back, coward. Here's the Star Wars The Force Awakens Nerf Dart Refill Pack. There are 18 foam darts in here. and There are nine of each colour. Only three of each type have the Nerf or Star Wars logo and the Rebel emblem or the Empire Stroke First Order logo. The others are just plain blue or plain red with the rather nice semi-translucent um, soft rubber tip, which is very nice. It's so a real close up on the dart, just to show the Star Wars and Nerf lettering in a bit more detail. So it's in effect one on each side. And the really nice part of this is the tip. It's quite a grippy plastic, it's squidgy. So it feels a little bit gel-like, but not at all sticky. Heavy enough to stand up your darts quite easily. They're definitely you know, definitely a nice point on them. There's actually a hole on the side, so if they did hit anything, any air that's inside can easily come out. So that again, making them nice and soft, so the impact is soft as all Nerf Elite darts are, so that even if you were unlucky enough to be point blank range shot straight onto your, let's say your arm or an uncovered bit of bare flesh, it's not gonna sting or hurt much at all. Just want to do a full reload just to show you, remind you that you actually need to have this back in the pull back position to release your clip. Once you've got your clip, you want to make sure you know which is facing forward and which is back. And then you want to, of course, be sliding in the darts, pushing them down. You want to have one finger covering the point where the rubber dart is at the front so that as you load them down, it's really nice and easy. You get a nice clean load. I'm going to do all 12. Now I've got quite large fingers, so I think uh, a slightly smaller finger is going to make this even easier. But as you can see, didn't take long at all. And I'm sure practiced hands will make that really good. I'm tempted to give it a tap so that the dart's at the back and not the front, just so that the rubber part can't stick. I managed to remove the trigger, the cartridge, sorry, the magazine, because I'm in the right position. So all you do, pop that in, give it a click, and you're now absolutely ready to fire. Just gonna just do some knocking the camera, some slam fire, so this is where you hold the trigger down. So I'm gonna start with just one trigger shot. And now what I'm gonna do is hold that trigger down as I pump the gun, loading and firing. And there's no trickery there with video fast forwarding, etc. Slam fire really does enable you to really lay down some suppressing fire. It may not be the most accurate, certainly very noisy, but uh, you really get a very fast, rapid rate of fire out of this. Brilliant magazine, brilliant gun. Quick comment about the boxes, because I think they've done a really nice thing here. Bit of tape on the front of all the boxes. Once you've cut these very carefully, the box kind of unfolds and you kind of unroll it. And then behind there, what you're gonna find are a series of these white cardboard tags and what look like traditional tie wrap grips, but there's no plastic or wire in these. These are actually paper, tightly rolled paper. They're very, it's very fibrous paper, but that means all these tags, all this cardboard can all be recycled. So once you've cut your tape, the only bit of plastic you need to remove is the bit of plastic holding in and it is just gripped in by the shape. So I made that look very much harder than it really needed to be, but they've just got angled bits of plastic. So although that might have to go in the bin, the rest of it can all be recycled. So well done Hasbro, well done Disney and Nerf, brilliant packaging. The more you can recycle, the better. It's gotta be a good thing. 
Now BBX got some really great little default movements that you can use. So here's the figure of eight, and whilst he's in his figure eight move, let's hope no first order stormtroopers come around the corner. Stop there, rebel scum! Don't think you can escape that easy. Are you okay, BB-8? Don't laugh. Yes, I missed you, I missed you. That's uh, unfortunately part of the course when you're on camera. Well done, BB-8. Great target practice. No droids were hurt in the making of this video. I hope you had a blast. We certainly did. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and comment.